I'm going to talk to you today about taking an oil sample. There are two methods of taking a sample and one is the vacuum pump method and the other is the oil valve probe method. Many of our technicians out there use a third method that is not recommended at all and that's what I call the drain stream method. The drain stream method is when you take your oil sample from the drain, from the fluid as you drain it out of the compartment. When you do that, you get a very poor representation of the oil that's in the machine because you're pulling the sediment from the bottom of that compartment and it's going into your sampling bottle. So that method should never be used. But the two methods we do recommend, again, are the vacuum pump and the oil valve probe method. What I'm going to demonstrate now is the oil valve probe method. Now the tooling you're going to need for that method is you're going to need a waste oil bottle. And what this waste oil bottle is used for is to clean the valve before you take your sample. This is probably one of the common steps that most technicians don't do. They, they just take their sample without flushing the valve first. And if you don't flush the valve, you're going to get a poor representation again of the oil. Then you're going to need a, a new sampling probe, a new bottle, and it comes with a cap with two holes and then a solid cap. And I'll demonstrate later on how this is used. So on our machines, we have sampling valves, and they are color-coded. We have blue, which is hydraulic oil. We have yellow, which is engine oil. We have green, which is for coolant. And lastly, purple, which is transmission fluid. And so here, if you look in, this is our blue one, and it has the ISO symbol for hydraulic oil. So this would be the sampling valve used for sampling the hydraulic oil on this excavator. Now, if you notice, next to this is another valve with a black cap. Now, this valve is used to measure pressure. If you notice, this valve here does not have a hole in the center of it. And so this valve can only be used for pressure. And if you notice the valve next to it, this is our sampling valve. It has the hole in the center of the valve so you can stick the sampling probe into in order to take the sample. Okay? So now when taking a sample, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this dust boot and you want to clean this valve off with a lint-free rag. And then we're going to take our waste oil bottle and we're going to fill this bottle half full. Now for this demonstration, I'm not going to have the machine running. I'm just going to go through the procedure so you can see that so we eliminate the noise from the engine. So you're going to take our sampling bottle and if you notice, this is called the probe holder. Okay, now this slips over the probe and you stick that on the valve and you're going to fill this container about half full. And after you fill it half full, this oil is going to get thrown away. Now the one thing that you're allowed is, since we're just cleaning the valve, you can reuse this, this probe and waste oil bottle. And if you notice, I have marked this as waste oil. And you also need to have one of these for waste coolant because we don't want to mix oil and coolant together. So now we're going to show you the procedure with the machine warmed up and the engine running. And keep in mind, to warm a machine up, you have to get the engine oil up to temperature. And while the engine is coming up to temperature, you need to work the implements in order to warm the hydraulic oil up. 
And then if your machine is equipped with a final drive, and in the case of the excavator, a swing drive, you need to mix that oil. So you'll need to travel the machine and swing the machine in order to do that. Now you're not going to get those two compartments oil where it's up to temperature, but they must be at least mixed before you take your samples. Now we're going to take our good sample, and so we're going to take this bottle and probe out of the bag and assemble it and take our sample. Now, if we were in dusty, dirty conditions, then you can actually assemble this bottle and probe while it's still in the bag. And then that way, all you have to do is poke your probe through the bag, and then you can take your sample without risking contaminating the container. Since we're not in dusty and dirty conditions today, we don't need to take the sample in the bag. So what, we're, what we have in our bag is, is two caps. We have a solid cap, and we have a cap with two holes. We have the bottle, and we have the probe. Now what I like to do is keep the solid cap in the bag so it doesn't get contaminated. So we're going to assemble our probe holder onto the probe. And what this does, as you're taking a sample, this can get hot. And this probe holder protects you from burning your fingers. So uh, it's a good idea to use this probe holder. And now we're going to stick the hose into the cap about 25 millimeters, okay? And after we've done that, we're gonna assemble the bottle onto the cap and probe assembly. So now we've already flushed our valve, and now we have a new bottle and a new probe, and we're going to fill this up till it is a little bit above the line that's on this bottle. And the reason you want to go at least that full is sometimes they have to run the sample twice through the lab and if you don't give, if you don't fill it above that line they may not have enough oil to run that sample a second time. With the machine running and properly warmed up now we're going to take the sample that we will be sending to the lab for analysis. So now we have our bottle. We're going to remove the cap. We're going to take our solid cap. And then we're going to mark on this cap what fluid we have in here. So we're going to put down hydraulic oil. Okay, so now we, we have our, our fluid labeled, and after we've taken all our samples, we're going to go back and then fill out our labels for these samples that are required by our SOS labs. Now, this probe that we used to take the sample cannot be used again, because it has a different compartment's oil in it and we don't want to take the oil that's in this tube and put it in another sample. So you have to throw this cap and this probe away, but save the probe holder. Okay. So after we've taken our sample, we want to wipe our valve off again and put our dust boot on. And that concludes the demonstration on how to take a sample using the oil valve probe.